Hey everyone, welcome into Star Wars Republic, our show about all things Star Wars here on the Arena Productions. I'm your host, Expat, along with my co-host, Burley. Burley, how you doing? I'm doing good. How awesome. are you, Expat? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. So, ready to talk Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 7. So, yeah. So, Episode 7, Chapter 23, The Spies. So, we had lots of spies in this episode. Uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about that uh of course, our recap of the episode. But before we move on, uh, if you like this video as well as all of our other videos, and if you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit that like and the subscribe and the notification bell for when we drop a new episode of Star Wars Republic as well as all of our other content here on the Arena Productions. So thank you so much for uh, watching our content and thank you so much for your support. So with that said, uh, this is your spoiler warning because of course our uh, re recap episode here is spoiler filled. We're going to be talking about a lot of the points from the episode of Mandalorian season three, episode seven, the spies. So if you have not watched the episode, please go to Disney plus and, uh, watch the episode and then come back and enjoy our recap of the episode. All right. With that said, that's your spoiler warning. So with that said, let's go ahead and, uh, get the slideshow started burly and, uh, let's go ahead and talk, uh, Mando episode, uh, seven of season three okay so we get started here and of course uh you know kane is still on coruscant and now of course we get moth gideon you know moth gideon is you know uh you know communicating with her and obviously we find out that she's spying for him i mean that was pretty obvious don't you think oh, i mean oh that 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 they might as well have just written on a wall she is spy for Moth Gideon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the writing yeah. was on the wall. We kind of, we kind of knew that. I, yeah. I I was a little surprised to actually just see very early on in this episode we get Moth Gideon. Yeah. To show him right out, and I'm like, oh okay. Yeah. But we still don't know who rescued him. It'll yeah. be interesting to find out because uh, later on in the episode we we hear about the this like a. Uh, this death squad faction of Mandalorians and uh, it, you know, and the armor was saying that they're, they don't exist anymore, but maybe they do. Maybe they're the ones that, that uh, rescued Moth Gideon. We don't know. But anyway, uh, so basically Moth Gideon goes in and he has this meeting with the shadow council, which is interesting. And in the shadow council, we had some uh, interesting characters. We had one of the captains there that was the uh, basically uh, the second to uh, to Admiral Thrawn, and Admiral Thrawn's name comes up in this episode. So, I mean, Burley, they are setting up Admiral Thrawn now. Whether we're going to see him in the final episode next week, uh, we shall see. But of course, if any of you, if you've seen the Ahsoka trailer, uh, please go to uh, our video here of the Ahsoka trailer breakdown. Uh, of course, Thrawn is going to be in that series. So, yeah, Thrawn's name was thrown out there. And then we had another character named Hux. And obviously, that is the father of General Hux from the, uh, you know, the, the Force Awakens and uh, those films. So uh, what did you think of that Shadow Council, Burley? Yeah, I did. I didn't see that coming, but it is a nice kind of thing just showing how, and I'm saying like, we have to be careful. We got to stay in the shadows because everyone thinks we're just bumbling. The, 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 the Imperials are just bumbling Imperials here and not realizing how organized we are right now. I, I, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then of course, uh, Moth Gideon, he's asking, he's requesting uh of course uh you know the the praetorian guards uh as well as uh you know more uh bombers and uh, fighters and everything because now he's focused on mandalore so i mean obviously he knows what's going on with uh you know bo katan and with uh with uh mando and uh, these factions that are now trying to take over mandalore so it's like he's just hell bent on making sure that that doesn't happen you know so what'd you think of what'd you think of that part he's hell bent on that but i think it i think it's more not just that it's more he wants that dark saber back uh, yeah. he wants that back so badly yeah well it's cool he like he created his own new 
kind of like uh, dark trooper Veskar armor. You know, <laughs> it's like that, that. That 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 was a cool reveal when we got revealed of that, and his, yeah. uh, his uh, he has his own armor. Yeah, that was really uh, a cool moment. Yeah. Now let's let's move away from that for a moment, and let's get to the Grogu and IG twelve moment. I mean, yeah, I like that little filler part of the episode where you get the humor. You know, you have to have a little bit of humor in the episode and everything. And, and it's just Grogu is filling that now as he gets in there and he starts, you know, uh, using the controls to say, yes, yes, no, 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 yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And then just walking around with that thing. But that it, 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 what is what's the point of IG-12? I mean, IG-12 is not a is not a bounty hunter anymore. I mean, they stripped all of his memory. So all it is is just a piece of walking parts. Do you I know mean, why it's? Do you want to know why it's in there? Why? Tell me. To tell sell me. merchandise. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Toys. Because <laughs> you have the Lego set of Grogu in IG12. The IG12 by itself set. Yeah. Yep. It's you, a money it, maker. It, yeah. It, 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 that that was put in there for money. I, right. I like. I, I'm convinced of it because it's like you said, not yeah. a bounty hunter, and it's like. What is Grogu going to do in this thing to, like, you know, really help? I, he's better off in the little, the other thing he's been in. Yeah, yeah. So then let's get to the the, the scenes with the, the Mandalorian factions coming together. And then they have their feast. And and obviously they decide to, to go retake Mandalore. And so they all go there together. And then they land on the planet's surface. And... Uh, but before that happens, uh, you know, it's Bo-Katan, you know, is, uh, you know, thinking about what's going to go on and how is she going to be able to keep these factions together and all. And, and of course, Mando, you know, he's like, uh, you know, he's showing his support to her and all, you know, and uh, and and later on, as they get to the planet, of course, they get they meet up with these. They look like pirates at first, you know. They, it's like this like uh, pirate, you know, type of ship that's on land, and uh, they're more Mandalorians. And of course, then on that ship, you know, uh, Bo Katan is telling them that, you know, she had to surrender basically to save Mandalore. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know as she's doing that you know she's getting pretty emotional about it and all and and of course that's that's when mando comes up and is like hey you know uh, i didn't know and uh you know you still have my support until your story is told and i like that part a lot uh but uh but i mean how many different clans are there i mean right now it's like we've seen these like factions you know the armors faction and then of course bo katan's faction that she had and now these uh this other faction that looked like pirates at first, but you know, they're, they've been there forever, uh, ever since the purge. And, uh, now they're coming all together, but I mean, how many other factions could there be? Uh, it's interesting. Uh, and we're going to probably find that out later on, but what did you think of all those parts, all that, uh, those scenes? I, I, I like that. And it gives you a little bit more information, a little bit more of the lore, because it is like how did like because you know they bombed it but you want to know like how did so many even though they bombed the heck out of the plant how many how did so many of these mandalorians survive now you kind of get an idea yeah i think the one and, one one mandalorian with bo katan's group was saying that they just completely carpeted the planet the whole surface twice yeah. twice over you know the entire the entire surface so but uh it's it's nice to get more of the fleshing this out mm -hmm. and you know giving more character growth moments and you know more moments like between with bo katan and 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 mando yeah just you know him i didn't know and i'll you know him saying like i'll be there with you to the end yeah and still some animosity between the two groups i mean those two that were playing the kind of like a chess board yep. type of game there and then that, started, that was funny yeah <laughs> He's like, are you serious? You know, it's like, and they started mm -hmm. fighting, and then Grogu with IG twelve comes and breaks them up. You know, no, 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 no. You know, it's, <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so then we get inside, and uh, then of course the 
the the stormtroopers come out you know the troopers you know the enhanced troopers you know with their enhanced armor and everything flying around like mandalorians and they start fighting and all and and i just it's just the thing i didn't like was ig12 i mean you know <laughs> it's like that's just a stationary target basically you know but uh but the one guy that was in uh, Bo-Katan's group, uh, he flew out of that that hole at the top. And so hopefully he's able to find reinforcements because boy, oh boy. I mean, uh, you know, towards the end of the episode there, of course, you get Moth Gideon, of course, with his new Veskar, you know, uh, dark trooper armor. Uh, and he comes and yeah, like you were saying, he really wants that dark saber back. But obviously, Bo Katan's not going to give it to him. And I like that part. She's like, I should have killed you when I had the chance. Yeah. You know? uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, uh, then she uh, she cuts a hole through and they're able to, the majority of them are able to escape. But then the one guy, this is the way. He stays behind with the, the kind of like the Gatling laser gun, you know, and just uh, mowing a bunch of those guys down until those... Uh, you know, until the Praetorian guard shows up and uh, basically uh, eats his lunch. <laughs> yeah. Well, he did. He did well. He took out oh, how yeah. many of those guys? He could just oh, at least him. twenty-five or thirty of them. I mean, yeah, he was mowing yeah. them. And then down. I love it. Like near the end, he just like shoulder tackles, takes the two down. Yeah. And then he, you could tell he's just so tired. He's damaged. He's like, oh, yeah. Ugh. And then the guard, he had no chance. But I, I, I love yeah. that moment. He is just like. For the good of his people, he is willing to sacrifice himself. Yeah. So that I, I, I was just gonna say about those Praetorian Guard, they I guess they are like the 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 predecessors to the Praetorian Guard that Ray and uh, Kylo had to fight in the Last Jedi. I think. So I I, I would I would imagine so. Yeah. 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 But uh, so anyway, yes. Uh, so that that happened. And uh, I just want to bring this up because uh, obviously in the episode, we had this huge, gigantic monster. It was not the mythosaur, I think. It was not the yeah. mythosaur, but that huge, gigantic, like uh, lizard type of monster just creeped up out of the ground in man on Mandalore and just destroyed that, you know, that little ship type of thing that they were they were on going, you know, to the uh, to the forge. And uh, but. My question to you, Burley, is next week is the final episode of the season. Are we going to get the Mythosaur? And is the Mythosaur going to save the day? Because yeah, now you... Mando because now Mando is, of course, a captive again of Moth Gideon. So is the Mythosaur going to save the day? Yeah, I, I, I unfortunately, I think they'll do that. I think Mythosaur... They'll have some plan. Bo-Katan will some come, come. A new plan will be not only get more of her people there, get more Mandos there, but I'm gonna go get a Mythosaur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, and, and the and the the real question here, because Mando has been captured, and they're gonna have to get everyone they can to 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 fight Moth Gideon, yeah. and 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 try and beat him. Yeah. Does Boba Fett get contacted? don't think so I, I think they're gonna leave boba fett out of it um but what i do think is gonna happen is we're gonna we might have another uh we might get a shot of thrawn because i'm starting to think that it could come to the point where thrawn and moth gideon fight each other for supremacy Ooh, i would i would like that yeah i, I would like that would be really interesting. That would be really interesting because, you know, uh, during that shadow council, Moth Gideon was talking about Thrawn. It's like, where is he? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it, 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 it seems like we should think more about new leadership, you know, I mean, because he's, when is he going to show up? When is he coming? He's been gone for such a long time. And then boom, yeah. he pops up again. And then it's like, what factions are going to side with Thrawn? Which factions are going to side with Moth Gideon? Yeah. So, I mean, I think that's, I don't know if they're going to show that or there's going to be a glimpse of it at the very end of the episode next week, but I would not be surprised uh, because he's, I mean, Thrawn, obviously he's going to be in Ahsoka. So, uh, and Ahsoka is coming up next. 
So uh, we shall see. But uh, yeah, I think the Mythosaur is going to be a part of the, the season finale. Whether whether she comes and destroys that, you know, interior base that Mob Gideon is now constructed on Mandalore there with those bombers and everything. And what's interesting is the armor, of course, she was transporting those older uh, or not older, but uh, those uh, other Mandalorians that were sick. She was transporting yeah. him to the the big uh, the uh, the big transport ship, you know, the uh, kind of like the uh, um, cruiser. But does that cruiser come under attack, or uh, you know, what's going to happen with that? I think there's going to be a big space battle, and there's going to be a battle under the surface. Oh so, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if their whole thing is get Mando, get him out, get him out quick, and then let the Imperials come up from the, come up on the surface and the Mandalorians have to bomb the Mandalorian surface, the planet's surface, mm -hmm. to just bomb out the Imperials. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we shall see. Yeah, next week is the final episode of Season 3. Of the Bo-Katan so, show. Of the Bo-Katan show, yes, with uh, with Mando included. <laughs> So anyway, uh, I've been your host, Tax Battle, along with my co-host, Burley. Uh, we hope to catch you next week for the final episode of The Mandalorian Season 3 when we do our recap of that episode. So how long do you think it's going to be, Burley? I, I think it's going to be over an hour because this past episode was 53 minutes. I think uh, it's going to be over an hour, I bet. I, I'm going to say an hour and five minutes. Okay, yeah. or, or may, uh, Okay, you say an hour and five minutes, I'll say an hour and three minutes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you be an hour four? <laughs> an hour, like, hour and three minutes yeah. and 30 seconds. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> oh, Frank, you're going to go into seconds. Then. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we hope to catch you next week for our uh, final uh, recap of uh, Season 3 of The Mandalorian. So, uh, uh, of course, I've been your host, X Battle, along with my co-host, Burley. So, until the next episode of Star Wars Republic, uh, of course, uh, may the Force be with you, and we'll catch you next week. Peace out. It's the way.